SDSU women's basketball team last played against rival USD in last March's Summit League Tournament Championship, in which they fell to the Coyotes 63-58. to The Jacks are back, looking to reach the mountaintop once again. The return of a healthy all-conference player should help. Last season came to an abrupt end due to the pandemic, and it's been a long wait for the Jackrabbit women since falling to USD in last year's conference tournament. It's just been kind of a motivator to, to see where we want to be at the end of the season, and um, I think we've, we've had a good attitude coming into this very long preseason, and so I think we're ready to go. After missing most of last season with an injury, redshirt junior Maya Sellen returns fully healthy this year. Head coach Aaron Johnson calls Sellen one of the most versatile players to come through his program. We have to really find a way to showcase her talents because she is such a good passer. She's good in the post. She's good on the perimeter. She's really good in transition. She can defend multiple spots. Sellen's versatility will allow some other key contributors to expand their roles. Tori Nelson is someone that can do an awful lot on the basketball floor. Guard different positions, play different positions. Uh, Peyton Burkhardt, I think when everybody watches has heard this year will see a far more versatile player. The Jacks will be tested right out of the gates with three non-conference games against ranked opponents. To see be able to get those games and still have that challenge this year especially is really important and I think it'll really um, help prepare us for the conference season. When it comes to postseason opportunities they're obviously really big for us so we take our non-conference schedule really seriously. In just five days that long wait to return to the court will finally be over. To say that we're finally playing this Saturday is definitely surreal, and we're all really excited for it. South Dakota State opens the season at home on Saturday against Iowa State. Tip-off is set for 2 o'clock.